members of the Forum of Science and Swords here once again, uh, doing a proper unboxing this time because people seem to be more excited when even we haven't opened the box, which is a little bit frustrating because I'll be honest guys, these are part of huge, huge orders. It's not like a standard unboxing where it's just the one thing. However, I am super excited, which you can probably tell by the sound of my voice because I'm kind of like, Bruh. Um, we have an entirely, entirely new product range in today from Epic Armory. So for the last couple of years, uh, the biggest complaint uh, that Epic Armory receives is that compared to some other brands out there, usually injected polyurethane based brands, uh, the swords aren't actually all that durable. So we have Epic Armory's solution. It's a brand new range, it's called Stronghold, and it's made in an entirely different way from the previous swords, and oh my god, this looks great. So this is the uh, Stronghold Scout. It's got a, kind of a Wonder Woman look to it. Let's just open that all up. Oh, blade's got some texture. So the entire thing appears to be uh, mold injected. We've got a, uh, a substantially denser foam here on the handle. And then we've got a nice soft, oh, that's cool. I've got the little Stronghold H logo there in the foam. Uh, H, what, Stronghold? Stronghold. Anyway, um, so to the weapon itself, uh, the beginning lines of these are only gonna be 70 to 75 centimeters, so short sword length for a lot of people, which isn't really actually a short sword, it's a pretty average sword, but, it doesn't have the reach that so many people like. So, you just saw me take it out of the box and then take it out of the bag. You know this is fresh. Let's try this out. Holy sh... Oh, that is, that's tough. All right, so um, all these boxes are resting on a steel case, Jazz. If you could just lower the camera angle down this way, I'm gonna, you got that in frame there? Great. Let's just get that photo out of the way. It's slightly scuffed. Jesus. Okay. Good old calamacel foam twisty test. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Oh, it's a pity that we don't have a third person to give a good stabbing to, but... Ugh. Oh, wow, that's actually quite soft. That's nice. Like, well, it's not nice nice, but I mean, like... Oh, okay. So this will be a video for another time. We're gonna have to cut one of these open to show you guys. I can actually feel this just in here. Um, it's no longer a Kevlar tip over the core. There's actually an entire, almost an inch long of a material that is way more dense than the foam in here, but still quite flexible, but not rigid like the core is. So it's a tube tip like Palnatoke use, or that has been present in uh, some of the more recent model hybrids. That's really cool. So these will be not just thrust safe, which is to say you're not going to injure someone if there is a critical failure of the foam, but I'm going to hazard a guess and actually say that these particular stronghold items are even going to be thrust suitable. Like you're going to be able to just stab people to your heart's content with, uh, without worrying about it. Oh. Okay, so um, I'm, I'm being instructed by Jazz behind the camera to actually just give a, a quick stab in her direction. So, how are you? How is that? Oh, all good, all good. I just wanted to see if, um, how, what, go against the cardboard box. All right, let's, uh, <laughs> let's angle down again. Let's, let's try stabbing the ground. I want to see how. By the might of Chrome. So how does it go against a three-year-old tantrum? That's fine. It goes well against a 33-year-old tantrum. Um, I wasn't being soft when I was stabbing the ground. That was, this is genuinely surprising. Like we were part of the development cycle telling them, uh, telling the Epic Armory guys what we needed for a game like Swordcraft. And this really exceeds my expectations. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna invite the Team Kraken guys over to actually have a go with these. We're gonna get the Battle of Nations guys to have a play with these. That'll be another video. And um, I'll link that when that happens. In the meantime, back to what other designs we've got because I am so excited about this. Um, so that was the scout. What else? Oh, hello. So this is going to be the Stronghold Elven. We've got, you know, that nice curved Elven blade. And 
It looks more like the mage staff than the elven handle that I'm used to. I was actually kind of surprised to just straight up go with the, um, the standard hybrid elven handle, but... It looks like the throwing knives, the elven throwing knives. It does look like the elven throwing knives. That is a much nicer compliment. So, yep, there's the same tip there. Might actually do separate product reviews for each of these. But, so yeah, that's the elven. Uh, what else we got? We've got a cracker latch. Uh, we've got a dark elven. So, same again, but blacker. Like. Uh, man, that's gonna, that's gonna sell well as an <laughs> Um, Is that Fox One? I don't know if you can slice here, but I'm actually kind of definitely afraid I'm going to slice off bits of my own hair when doing this. Okay, pa box two. Ooh. Pass me the duck. Oh. Um, I just do it there. Ah, okay, here it is. So. Pretty. This is the Valor sword. It's pretty similar to the Scout sword. You've still got that sort of. Uh, Nice basic style. So, uh, yeah, all good. I think these are going to be popular with the kids. That's the other thing I should probably mention is that these stronghold weapons are actually really, really reasonably priced. Um, we're trying to keep them below 100 Australian dollars here, and that's actually going to be a thing, which means that you're going to get. A Calamasal novice short priced weapon with the same level of quality, but you're actually going to have some variety. So I think that's going to be a great selling point for these Epic Armor Strongholds. Oh, here we are. This is the Cutlass Cavalier Sword. Okay, so it's meant to be a cavalry saber. Um, got a nice basket hilt. Protects the knuckles quite nicely. Oh, still every bit of durable. Oh. No, cannot twist that off. That is, that is good. Oh, here we are, the Earl Sword. So, because whenever we release a new range of anything, the first people pop onto it are the Viking types. So, here we go. For all you Vikings out there, the Earl Sword, ah, stop. That's exactly what you want. You've got nice, you know, sort of knot work there on the handle. Um, I'm, Unlike the other Viking swords that we sell though, it does not have an actual leather grip. Um, it does have a different shaped grip though, sort of a kind of an hourglass though. So you've got the wood patterning there. Um, it actually feels like it's designed for someone with a slightly smaller hand than me. Like it's still comfortable, but I'll be honest, I'm, I'm not a super fan of this part here. I would recommend just getting a leather wrap or you know, tennis tape or whatever. Um, what else have we got? No, that's that box. Uh, the clipping there, someone called in on Skype, which uh, automatically turns off the camera. Yay! Anyway, um, still got one box left to go. What have we got in here? Uh, we've got a few more of the Cavalier Swords. Aha! These are the ones that I think people really wanted to see. So this is the, uh, the Angelic Sword, you know, with the, the nice little wing shapes. Huh, I'm not certain if they're meant to be attached to them. No, they are meant to be attached and they come off fairly easily. Okay, so guys, um, straight up honesty, because that's kind of what we actually do here with the equipment that we get. Um, these little bits on the angelic sword, the, uh, the cross guard, actually come off super easily. So technically they're not really meant to, I gather, but um, I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue because that seems to be quite durable. You can see me going like that and just flicks right back into place. So, you know, and the blade itself is colored where that pops off. So I think maybe it is meant to just sort of sit there and if it, you know, a sword comes in, it'll get caught. You know, um, we'll have a word with Epic Armory and see if that's actually meant to happen or not. <laughs> um, otherwise, the handle on the Angelic Sword, quite nice, quite slender. Um, That'll be great for anyone who's, you know, like a partial angel or like a, an Icarus type character. That's quite nice. And we've got one, two more. No, one more. 
one more here in the new stronghold range to show off to you. Ah, and this one is the Swashbuckler. So, for those of you who are familiar with the current Epic Armory Noble Sword, be it the classic or the hybrid style, it's um, basically similar to that. You've got the nice little grip there, you've got the boing, boing, little bits there. That's cute. Uh, yeah. No, otherwise, all good. See you guys on the battlefield.